Hi, I'm Bob. In this video, we will learn the panel data structure together. We can always find the individual and the time information in panel data. They are the basic unit of the panel data. In our example, the person's ID number indicates individual, and the survey year shows the time we recorded the data. Do not confuse panel data with repeated cross-sectional data. The difference between the panel data and the repeated cross-sectional data is that the latter does not contain the same individual's data over time. The panel data have each worker's wage for each year. The panel study of income dynamics, PSID, survey data are panel data. They followed the respondents every year from 1968 to 1997 and then every two years till now. By contrast, the repeated cross-sectional data have some individual's information for some years. The current population survey, CPS, data are repeated cross-sectional data. We could not apply the panel data methods such as the individual fixed facts to repetitive cross-sectional data. We should also know the difference between balanced panel data and unbalanced panel data. In the left table, the panel data are balanced. In the right table, the panel data are unbalanced. The year 2014's data for individual ID1 are missing. If the missing is random, then we can just use data in 2010 and 2012. If the missing is not random, or it is correlated with the variable we are interested in, then using data without 2014 may lead to biased estimates. Since panel data contains more information about individuals over time than cross-sectional data, we can use more approaches to obtain more efficient estimates or more consistent estimates. Before we discuss the estimation methods, we take a look at the structure of the panel data. Panel data can come in two forms, wide and long forms. To analyze panel data in data, we must convert data to the long form. The wide form data contains each individual's information in one row. In this example, we have five workers. For each worker, we have her wage, years of schooling, and union membership for the years 2010 and 2012. They appear in one row for the same worker. When it is converted to the long form, the year information becomes a new variable that indicates the time. There is only one wage variable, one schooling variable, and one union variable. The ID variable has been expanded. We observed the same worker multiple times in different years. We see that ID1's wage was 11 in 2010. It became 12.5 in 2012. She had nine years of schooling in 2010 and the same person still had the same years of education in 2012. But her union membership changed. Her job was covered by a union contract in 2010, but not in 2012. To convert data from wide to long form, or vice versa, we can use the command reshape. Let's open the dataset I created from PSID for the US workers between 25 and 54 years of age. We type browse to open the data editor window. The dataset has 4,586 observations. We see that each ID has one row of variables for different years. This is the Y form setup of data. For example, the worker with ID number 5005 was 44 years old in 2010. 
is a man. He earned seventeen point eight dollars per hour in two thousand and ten. He has ten years of schooling, lived in the south, and was not a union member in two thousand and ten. We also have his data for 2012, 2014, 2016, and 2018. To convert this to long form, we type reshape long, followed by the variables names. After the comma, we specify two options. The I option specifies the individual's ID information. The J option specifies the time information. The time variable is a new variable in the long form. It comes from the surfaces attached to the variables. We must give it a name like year. Let's go ahead and execute it. Now we have the long form panel data. We have converted four hundred five thousand eighty six observations to. Twenty-two thousand nine hundred and thirty observations, which is equal to four thousand five hundred eighty-six times five time periods. The number of variables reduces from thirty-six to nine. The time variable is called year. The variables with surfaces have been converted to variables with dull surfaces. We can list the first fifteen observations and see that the data are in the long form. For each worker, we have five observations over five time periods. The wage rate is a time varying variable. It changes over time for the workers who earn wages. Years of schooling and gender are time invariant variables, meaning that they are constant over time. In other words. The worker has the same educational attainment and the same gender for each year. There are missing data for the union and the log wage variables. We tell Stata it is a panel data structure by typing XT set ID year. The panel variable is the ID, and the time variable is the year in our data set. It is a balanced panel data. But if our models use variables with missing data, then the sample for the models will be unbalanced. Thank you for watching this video. I will analyze panel data in the next video.